We got dozens and dozens of different components. Well, what can we do? I'm in the field, I'm working on it. The compressor's down. Well, what can I really do? So step one, looking at this, there is multiple components that you can change or replace or check on a semi-hermetic. If you're looking on the electrical side, for an example, and I'm gonna show you so, uh, some things, 230. This is the terminal plate assembly. If you never heard what a terminal plate assembly is, that is the plate that has all the pins, the electrical pins on there. As you can see right here, what, what does it say? There's a terminal plate gasket, then there's a terminal plate terminal box. You can get this in a full, this plate assembly pre-made if you needed to, or you can buy all the parts. Because inside here, if you we look really close, if I dive in here and you look, so you got some nuts, you got some washers, you got that terminal insulator. All these parts could be replaceable. And one thing I remembered when I was first starting out, I remember working on a self-contained, it had a K-body compressor and it had a leak on the uh, electrical gasket. This one right here, see it says 231. There was a leak there. At the time I didn't really know, so I couldn't find the leak to be honest. I was looking everywhere, I couldn't really tell I was spraying everywhere until I took off the electrical top and I sprayed in around there and all of a sudden I seen a bubble in there. I'm like, oh, compressor's leaking, is failing, got it replaced. But I wasn't aware that all I had to do was order up these parts like this gasket here and potentially I wouldn't have had to replace that compressor. This is the things we need to do as professionals out there and see what the cost is. Sometimes, honestly, it may be cheaper to get or less expensive to buy a whole new compressor, depending on where it's at. But most of the time, and I'm seeing this time and time again,